Alright everyone, we're going to try making a video here to show how to use PowerPoint um, for CLC presentations or for really any PowerPoint presentations you might want to do. Um, just quick background, I've, I've pulled up an incognito window here so that it won't remember my details. First thing you want to make sure you do is have um, PowerPoint and the whole Office package on your computer. You can do it from um, just being logged in through, uh, through the internet and whatever browser you're using, but it's substantially better, I think, for the purposes of this if you actually have it downloaded. And all students and staff have access to um, to it uh, in its full software on, I believe, five devices. So I've gone to office.com here, and um, you can see it's going to make me log in. So I'm going to just show this. This will be what it'll be like for you as well. Um, yours is going to be, again, you know, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever your student number is, at learn.vsb.bcd.ca. I'll just log in with my staff one. And then you're going to put your password in. That's going to be whatever you use to log into computers at school, whatever you use for Wi Fi. That's the guy. Um, okay, so here we are, and you can see all of the stuff here. Now, you can, like I say, you can just use PowerPoint right from here, but it's not as powerful from here. It's better to install. So we're going to go Office Install and Office 365 Apps, and we're going to click this. It's going to pop up and it's going to download a small 5 megabyte file. The actual programs are a lot bigger, but you need to get this one, and then you're going to run it. I'm going to kind of skip the whole process of, of running this because I don't think we really need to watch that. So um, I'm going to assume uh, you've already got it installed, and we'll continue on here. I might just have to crash this program as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can just cancel it. Cool. There we go. Good install. Thanks, Office. Um, so now I've preloaded up my Mr. Van mock presentation. And um, for the purposes of this, uh, I've also made notes um, just really briefly to give you a sense. I didn't actually do it for the whole thing, but I think this is a great way, and I'll post these in my class as well, um, of how you can share the information and have it ready to go so that when you're doing the voice overlay, it's not on the fly. You might be someone who's great with that, and you might be someone who really struggles with on the fly, so this is a great way, and I'll show you. You can either keep it in a Word document. You can also put it directly into PowerPoint. I'll show you both. Okay, so in PowerPoint, as you can see, um, we've loaded up the presentation. Obviously, make the presentation before you start doing the performance. Um, you're going to right-click on any of these here, and two things pop up, and you're going to choose Customize the Ribbon. And that's because the one right here, Recording, that we want, doesn't start there. So you just have to add it. It's real fast. Boom, we're there. And when I click Recording, just like I can click all of my things here, um, we're going to now have all of these options, and these are going to be super helpful for us. So I'm going to go record slideshow here, and as soon as I do that, you'll notice my uh, my picture shows up here, and I need to shave a little bit. <laughs> um, and as well, we also see the whole screen here. So um, this is what I see. It's not necessarily what they're going to see. So for example, if I use the notes here, and I put any notes in, I'm going to now go over to my presentation, and I'm going to copy in the first slide notes here. So slide one introductions, and I'm going to put them right here. Oh, and fascinating. Looks like you actually can't copy paste. So if you've got two monitors, drag it over to the other one and start putting them in here. I'll give an example. You could, of course, make this ahead of time. So I'm writing introduce myself. Oh, you know what it is. I actually can't edit while well, I'm videotaping on Snagit, which is what I'm using to capture this whole video. Um, okay, so anyways, you can put your own notes in here. Um, it will work for you when you type them. Um, we've got the record, we've got stop and replay. A cool feature about this is that you actually can um, record, and then if you don't like one of your slides, you can be like, oh, that was so good, except for slide four. You can redo slide four. Um, so I'll show you a, a quick example. And I'm just going to bring my notes up uh, on the other side here. So uh, now you're going to get the, the audio of me talking in it. So I hit record. Three, two, one. And it's going to pop up. And now it's recording everything I'm saying. So I might say, hi, everyone. Good afternoon. My name is uh, Mr. Van. I'm here to talk about school connectedness, which is my important uh, topic to discuss today. Um, big thing to keep in mind, the picture you're seeing of me there, that is only available 
if you have a webcam. Now most laptops will have this. Um, I've got it set up on my desktop. Make sure you keep that in mind when you're reading because you're noticing right now I'm re looking at the screen but ideally I really want to look up at the top and that's why on the screen the notes are near the top so it looks like you're looking at it. Um, down here on the bottom, actually I'll, I'll stop this now, down here on the bottom you'll see that I have a microphone, you can turn that off and on, there's the camera, and so if I'm like, eh, I don't really want to see, have me on there, I can, I can close that and, and disable my video. Um, I think it adds an element to be able to have the PowerPoint and the video. I think it's nice. I think it lets the person get a bit of both, which is really good. You've also got these features down here um, where you can you can either pen or you can highlight. Um, you can also erase. So I'll just show it real quick. Here's your red. Hi. Right. Yeah, that's an important thing. Let's circle it. <laughs> um, and you can choose different highlight colors as well. Um, on black backgrounds, they're not going to show up so well. Um, and you can erase anything you want, you don't like. Okay, so let's do an example here, again, recording, and this time I'm going to go through more than one slide, so you can see there's the left and the right, there's the forward and the back. It's going to pop up. Hi, good afternoon, my name is Nick Van Ersel. I'm here to talk about student connectedness. Next slide. When I started, I wanted to look at an essential question, specifically around an area I already do in my work, and that's around mental health, crisis outreach, and getting resources. I came to realize, however, that there are more important things within this area for me to do than what I originally imagined, which was to set up a way for students to text and, and receive help online. My research, blah, 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 and there it is. Now I can stop this, okay, and I can replay it and it'll take me through the whole thing. My research, blah, 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 and there it is. Now I can stop this. Now the beauty of this is, let's say, like I say, I really don't like my first or my second slide here. I can re-record this one. I can also um, do it from uh, clear recordings on current slides. So I can wipe this one out. Re-recording. Here is my new second slide. This is what's going to be said instead. Now, what's important to remember is because it really doesn't flow very well together right now, it's going to be awkward when I put those three together. But you get the sense of what it would do. It tells you how long you've been on a particular slide and how long you've been total. So I've done 18 seconds worth of recording. I've done zero seconds of recording on slide four. Hopefully you get the idea here. Right. When it's a new one, it goes live. I can wave. It goes back to the pre-recorded one and tells you how long it is when you've already done one. This is the whole idea right here. Um, you can also, if you have multiple webcams or microphones, you can choose here. Um, sometimes there's different sound inputs, just something to think about. Once you have the whole thing ready to go, that's great. And if you don't like it, you can always wipe out either current slide or all slide. Just keep that in mind. Once you have all of that, you're going to hit the escape button. And now we should have all of the information right here. I'm going to go save as show. And let's see how this works. <laughs> 